Number nine, the reciprocation tendency. Now, people tend to reciprocate what happens to them, whether it's good or whether it's bad. We tend to reciprocate what happens to us. There was a story of a man who went into a rug store and he didn't want to buy anything. He just wanted to take a look. But the worker, each time he wanted to take a look at a certain rug, would make a big show where he'd be moving around, sweating, grabbing ladders to get the rug off the display and down onto the floor so that the man could take a look. He would exert a lot of energy and effort just to show the rug. Now subconsciously, the way that our mind processes is that when someone's doing something for us, like exerting a lot of effort, we feel indebted to them. So we're more inclined to make a purchase if the person's going to extra efforts for us. The same thing happens when you're trying to buy a car. There's an old sales trick where as soon as you um, go to buy the car, the car dealership or the car salesman will offer you a coffee and maybe a nice place to sit. This act alone increases their sales dramatically because the people feel indebted to the car salesman and then wish to buy a car off them or are more likely to purchase a car off them. It doesn't make sense logically. It's a completely subconscious emotional tendency that people use. Now, there was an experiment that was done on a campus in which students were asked to take care of a bunch of juvenile delinquents on their day out of the, at a zoo. Of the sample space or the amount of people they asked, one in six people would agree to the request. One in six people would agree to take the kids out to the zoo for a day. Five out of six would disagree. Now, they did the same experiment, but they changed the question up a little bit. Instead of asking people to take care of the kids for a day, they would ask people to instead take care of the kids for a prolonged period of time over two years. This got a 100% decline rate. Everyone said no. But before they would finish, they would continue and add this little sense on they will add the request for perhaps just taking care of the kids for one day after asking for the two years. Now, when they did this, the success rate became 50%, which means three out of six people actually agreed to this, which tripled their results from the initial test. This is all because of the reciprocation tendency. A lot of people use this method to generate sales on their webpage. They would generally have one offer, which is, you know, premium and relatively expensive. They might have a middle offer and a lower offer. They will make the premium offer as expensive as possible at the same price that they can get away with that some people would purchase, but would seem rather extreme for a lot of other people. Perhaps they might sell their ebook for $300, the premium version. But then they'll have the generic standard version for 50 bucks. Now, when you look at this, you are more inclined to buy the $50 version because it seems like a reasonable offer compared to the $300 version. Whereas if they did not have the $300 version, you might actually think that the $50 is not reasonable. Because of this reciprocation tendency, Certain companies don't let their associates accept, you know, favors from vendors. So if a company has someone buying something for the company, purchasing some things, they generally don't allow the purchaser to accept favors because of how easily manipulated people can be due to the reciprocation tendency. So that's just something to look out for in your day-to-day lives and just understand that it's hardwired into the human condition. So 
hope you guys receive some value out of this peace